Hello everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to a new video. So you guys ask me on my Instagram all the time, Sandy, where in London should I live? What's the best area for me? So hopefully today we can answer this. Let's start with a few ground rules. The further central you live, the more expensive it's gonna be. And the north of the river is most of the time more expensive than the south of the river. So what I wanna do right now is go through all the areas, north, east, south and west, individually and tell you what they're good for and which tube stops are good to live close. Let's start with the north because the north is an area that I know very well because that's where I live. The north I would count as Camden, Primrose Hill, Regent's Park and everything beyond and especially Camden, Kentish Town and that area is good for you if you like going to pubs and bars and if you're a bit rough and if you maybe like rock and roll or punk music and you are happy to spend a night in a pub listening to old school bands there's a lot of cool bands that came from this area Amy Winehouse played here and if that's your thing the north especially Camden and around is for you affordable areas in the north and that's my opinion if you have another opinion in the whole video just comment below but affordable areas for me are Camden and Kentish Town and probably St John's Wood as well beyond Regent's Park so these are three tube stops for you to look at then let's go clockwise and let's go to East London so East East London is potentially my favorite area. If I could, I would live there. East London is good for you if you are creative, if you like art, if you like fashion, if you like graffiti, and in general, if you're a little bit of a hipster, if you like vintage, and if you appreciate that kind of lifestyle, then East London is perfect for you. Affordable tube stops to look at here are Hoxton, Dalston, and I would say Myland. And now let's move south. So the south is good for you if you are a foodie. If you like nice restaurants and food markets, it's perfect for you to live at. Borough Market, the most famous one, is just one example. If you go to Brixton, the food world opens a whole new, you know, a whole new possibilities for you as well. And the South is also good for you if you want to live in London and have a sense of community, because even though a lot of it is quite central, people tend to be very proud of where they come from and they tend to live there for a very long time. So if that's what you like, you should move there. And it's very, very green. The top three tube stops in the South that you should have a look at are New Cross, Peckham and Shadwell. And now let's move all the way to West London. West London is good for you if you want to live in London and you want to live fairly close to central London but you don't want to have the madness. So West London is good for you if you want cheap rents, if you maybe want a living room because that is not guaranteed in all of the other areas and if you want to like I said just have a bit more of a cheap residential option. Not, that, not a lot is happening but you are close enough to commute to where everything is happening then West London is for you really good and fun tube stops to live around are Shepherd's Bush because that's where Westfield is. If you go a bit further up north, Kilburn and Maida Vale are fairly affordable and quite beautiful. And the last one I would say is Hammersmith, even though that's sort of southwest, but it's still nice to live at. So comment below what type of person you are and where in London you see yourself living. Like I said, I live north, but I would like to live east because I like to think I'm creative and I also like fashion and all of this and art. So I would like to live east that's the kind of person I am so yeah let me know your comments if you want to actually find out a bit more details about rent in London there is a link below that tells you exactly the amount of average rent that you pay at every tube stops in London for a one bedroom flat now if you're from London uh, if you're from Germany that might be confusing because a one bedroom flat in London means two rooms so kitchen bathroom living room and bedroom that is a one bedroom flat in London so have a look at the link below and um, don't be too shocked because it is very scary if you want to find out more about rent prices and everything there's loads of videos that I have made so I'll put them in the card and apart from that thanks so much for watching please don't forget to follow my Instagram and of course do subscribe to this channel I make two videos a week at the moment and I'll see you on Sunday Monday bye